Hello, I'm Drew Devitt. I'm here at New Way Air Bearings, and we'd like to share with you our patented process for viscous shear cleaning, drying, and temperature control of rigid and flexible substrates. Now, this process has a number of dramatic advantages. The first advantage is that it's completely non-contact, so there's no more scrubbing of the substrates. Once we have the substrate constrained between an upper and a lower air bearing set, we can then start to introduce high and low pressures into grooves that exist in the face of these bearings. So we have a high pressure groove and a low pressure groove. And as we introduce a surfactant or a DI water into the high pressure groove, the flow through the small gap on either side of the substrate is at a very high pressure, say two bar. And it might be moving at 20 or 30 meters per second. So this high velocity, high pressure flow of cleaning agent has a very effective boundary layer scrubbing and cleaning effect on both surfaces of the glass at the same time. Immediately after this cleaning operation, we have a drying operation where opposing air bearings and grooves are employed in the same way to create a high pressure, high velocity flow of air and or nitrogen that scrub any cleaning solutions or remaining oxygen that might be on the surface off before there's even any thought about the fluid creating a watermark. After the drying process, we go to a precision chucking process that will hold and condition the substrate for some type of a manufacturing process. In this case, let's say it's getting a coating from a slot die. By holding the glass from the surface that's about to be coated, uh, we're able to flatten the glass and take out any thickness variation that might be in the glass. We're able to control and drive the temperature of the glass to exactly whatever the temperature we might want to have for the coating process. Uh, we're able to scrub off any remaining oxygen that might be at issue that we don't want to have underneath of the coating. Uh, and we're able to have a very precise height or distance between the slot coat head and the substrate because of the very small structural loop and the easy alignment between the face of the chuck and the slot coating die. The glass then exits to a set of air bars that again have got vacuum grooves but in this case they are perpendicular to the motion of the glass. This helps to avoid any drying artifacts if indeed it was a coating process that just occurred. 